it going, Rock and Fluters? We're back. Playing Assassin's Creed. Pirates. As you can see, I have a new ship. It took me a good two and a half weeks of solid playing to finally get the ship. But I finally have the... What is, what is this ship even called? I forget what it's called. The Untamed, a Man of War class, which means it is a type of, type of class that I am assuming it is the best class. Um, as you can see, its power and defense is magnificent. I really wanted the Goliath, but it was twice as expensive, and it had one less defensive icon. I really wanted it because of its speed, because I do have this ship, and its speed is phenomenally amazing. But it has nothing going for it. But this one has, but this one has more de defense than speed. So I'm willing to just let that go. Um, but yeah, I finally got the Untamed. It's pretty cool. It's got a nice big skull on the back and half skeleton in the front with the pirate's head on. So you can tell it's legit and everything. What I, the coolest thing about this ship, I think, basically just looking at it, is that it's so big that it can't even decide which way it wants to really rock when it hits waves. All the other ships that like go up and they go down with the waves and everything. This one's just great. Alright, so, unfortunately, I had tried making the video about a half hour ago and of this level. Because I, I hate progressing through the game without you guys watching me for the first time unfortunately once again that video was it just wouldn't update so unfortunately you're not going to see me playing this the first time however I decided to what's the right word for this I decided to not do anything else to not go further into the next area because I don't really want to know anything about it really so there are a few things get going for you guys I mean unfortunately this was a half hour ago I didn't try doing it again I decided to wait a little bit I mean even though it was only 30 minutes I decided to wait a little bit just so you guys can watch me play it as easily as possible. I just want to make it the first time for you guys. I'm doing my best, but I can't, I only have so much technology right now, but, so I apologize right now. Anyways, let's get going. Let's continue on with the story. All right. Chapter 5, The Widest Secret, February 1717. Now in possession of The Widest Root, Alonso embarks on its most dangerous mission. If you guys remember from the previous um, uh, episode or chapter, whatever you want to call it, you can th call it in terms of episode as in on the YouTube or the chapter as in the game. Um, but if you remember, I had to help um, Black Sam um, find a merchant who had a... a... Uh, a path of apparently the widest route, which I'm uh, assume is a ship. So let's get going. I think I just hit something, or something just hit me. Anyways, there's me. I look so legit. I finally am. Oh, oh, okay. Just go right through his ship. All right then. It is high time we pursue our most prized, Lawrence Prince. I'm not really going to read what they say, because then it just sounds really cheesy, so I'm going to just take my time in this. The plus side is I honestly really don't remember a whole lot of what happened, so you guys are lucky. So this is technically, this is my second time doing this, but you guys get to see it in fairly decency, of which I don't really know what's going on. Oh yeah, we did kill that one captain that kicked our ass last time. All right then. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I can collect shit, can't I? I forgot about that. Oh yeah, in this one, you, I get to collect stuff, which makes it awesome. I don't know why, but you get to. Ah, no, I'll just keep going full speed. These guys, these ones are in a line. I was going to use my harpoon thing to just get them all. thousand just by just following this idiot. And asshole. He is an asshole. Remember, he doesn't help me in anything. Aha. So that looks like a ship that we need to be going to. See how much his ship bounces and then there's my ship just plowing along behind him. Aha, uh -huh, my ship's taller, I think. Makes me better. And I, and I have a skeleton in the front, for God's sakes. I mean, oh, my ship is bigger. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, none of this guy. He didn't even care that I just got to become captain. Labus is under attack. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, so avoid that, I think. Yes, avoid that, okay. Oh god, I am a terrible avoider. Oh my god, I am terrible. Oh my god. Aha, uh -huh, bitch. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. So he doesn't even care about my beef anymore. Serpentine, serpentine, serpentine. Turn. There we go. I made it. Need like a, another pillow or something. Ah! You know, this guy should honestly be made captain. Alright. Also, if he gets to attack me, that's not fair. And what's the boost doing? He's not doing very good. It's not helping him out very well. Is he? Remember the last time I did this, I like failed miserably and he ended up kicking my ass like that. It didn't move. It didn't move. That wasn't me. It didn't move. Don't hit the rock. <laughs> My ship's taller than him, too. I'm so much better. The fastest ship, so how can we catch him? Do you see, do you see the... I, I'm making a better plot than this. Although this was realistic. This was real events. Yeah, let's get going because, yeah, look at how awesome my ship is. Steer clear of the mines, Captain. 
see, I'm smart. I need that time. Oh God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn. Okay. Nope, I don't get you. The biggest problem with this ship is that it's so huge. That it's really difficult to maneuver it. what time I've already lost by hitting the mines. See? How is he not affected by them? Sure. <sighs> well, at least that's over with. I'm not sailing. Yep, because uh, these two assholes aren't going to do it, so I have to be the one left to do it. Oh boy. This is gonna be fun. Ah! No. Yee. Okay. No, I need to keep the camera out of my. Oh, he, that one got to see me. I'm just going to skip all this because you guys already saw this. Oh, God. I really want to take this hat off, but my hair is a mess right now. It, seriously, it looks really bad. I hate. Well, there he goes. Yep. Thanks for your knowledge, you moron. Come on, 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 come on. Thank you. So that's the Wida. Look at that white sales bike says I'm not racist, I'm just pointing it out. It's contrast. Don't start yelling at me, so I mean, Stop being so racist! I'm not describing So don't do that. Good god, my ship is huge. Uh oh. No, you haven't. Nope. 
Nope. I'm too skilled at this. I mean, I'm probably still going to get hit, but yeah. Nope. 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 Oh yeah, I have different things, don't I? Well, plus I got to reset his thing, and I get to stun him. I'm done with this. I'm gonna have to reset all my stuff. Oh well, I can do this. Look at him, he has a pipe. He thinks he's so special. He's a slaver. Well, those two ships are practically the exact same. Yep. them. Templars. Ooh. Do they sound like those monks that I've been helping out, don't they? Why won't he be able to fight back? See, this guy's an asshole. Full out asshole. My ship's the biggest of them all. I should have it. Shouldn't I? What's really cool is that that happens when the lightning flashes and my ship glows. Golbo. But that's Golbo! Alright, alright. That was an interesting sound that just came out of my mouth. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, but uh, uh, why is the top light not on? I mean, you can see this right light's on, this left light's on, but the top light ain't on. This person, she's a, really likes to post stuff, doesn't she? So, that boost, that one, and me. That one's on fire and it's raining. Because physics. Uh-oh. That's a ship. Oh, come on. He didn't die? I mean, honestly, I should have expected that, but really... Or your king. Look at this guy. He thinks he's all smug. I mean, oh my. I just tried to do it in George. Oh my god, that thing's huge. No, you saw a ship sink, I guess. I don't think you saw him. Yeah, but my ship's a man of war now. Yeah, because Sam's a fucking asshole. Oh, good God. No, I'm not letting that happen this first time. I have to avoid his ship because that's Labus.
Oh boy. Well now, who is that? I honestly don't remember who it is. Oh, it's Blackbeard. It's Blackbeard, you guys. I did a report on Blackbeard a couple years ago. Uh-huh. Sure you will. Look at that. Oop. This way. Here we go. For those of you guys who don't know who Blackbeard is, he was an extremely famous pirate back in the day. Way back in the 1700s, he was extremely famous. If you guys saw Pirates of the Caribbean 4, um, you will remember that Blackbeard was one of the main characters. And one of the main, I guess, protagonists, antagonists. Uh, but... In real life, Blackbeard owned the Queen Anne's Revenge, and he had his own fleet of ships, and he was, he, he was terrifying to the people that he raided. Um, he would, like, he would put, like, like, stuff under his hat that would, like, so smoke would curl out from, a, from his head when... When he um, raided and attacked other ships, it would strike fear into everyone's souls and their hearts. I mean, not my soul. If I was there, I don't have a soul. I'm a redhead. Believe it or not, I'm actually a ginger. <laughs> Steal your soul if you don't subscribe. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but Blackbeard was a huge, huge legend back in the back when he was alive. And there's one legend about him that when he was finally killed, and people thought he was invincible, but then some, of course, some knight in shining armor of the British came in who has never been defeated in his life ever. Uh, clearly because he was still alive. I mean, back then, if you were defeated, you were dead. Um, but he came, and while Blackbeard was kicking ass, he snuck up behind him and cut off his head, then threw the body overboard. Now the, th now, the legend here is that the body swam three times, I think it was three times around the ship. You guys might want to check up on that. Don't quote me on that. So, I'm just going to say three times around the ship, and then it crawled back up onto the ship with no head. That's what made him so terrifying even more, and even more of a legend. He was a huge legend. He was terrifying. He literally armed himself almost literally to the teeth with weapons and guns and swords and knives and he had the smoke curling out from under his hat and his through his hair and everything and oh my gosh he was an amazing pirate I know so much because I took it I did do a report on Blackbeard back in 8th grade I wanted to do Captain Jack Sparrow but he's <laughs> not a real captain but yeah I got Blackbeard so this is a really cool surprise for me that, that Blackbeard came in. I honestly forgot that Blackbeard came in. My hair is bugging me. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, enough nerding at you guys. Let's keep going. Well said, my friend. Oh, come on. You should know who he is. Look at that ship. That's a really interesting shape. But that's the Queen Anne's Revenge. Neptune, the god of the seas. 
of course, then there's Poseidon, the god of the sea. So it's up to you guys to decide which one's real. Alright then, that is complete, so there you guys go, you guys are all caught up again, I am going to hope that the next video, that one, this video can post, which I which I bet it will, two, that the next video that I do of the next chapter will also the first time, so you guys get to see my reactions live, well not really live, but you get what I'm saying, alright, like, Love, subscribe to my channel, my main channel. I'll put the link down there, if I remember to this time. Like, love, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Stay rockin'.